It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful country, so I, I'm just really thankful to be here. Yes, so. you are welcome. Yeah, see? Can you see? Okay, it's yeah. going now. It's going, yeah. <laughs> we'll get a video here. Passport control. Where I need to go. chicken schnitzel and this is the uh, owner here of the restaurant this is my first meal in Turkey and I am really enjoying this this is the Tehran boutique hotel uh, I am in 602. It's a nice room, a huge bathroom. And uh, bed's pretty comfortable. I just, I just got here maybe 30 minutes ago and taking a little rest, but outside you can see Mount Ararat there in the distance behind this building. Um, yeah, this is a, this is quite a place here. Uh, the city center square is down here and just to the left. So I'm gonna go, go down there and maybe 10 or 15 minutes and find something to eat. But yeah, this is home the next three nights. Uh, really looking forward to seeing everything around this area. So this is the Tehran Boutique Hotel in Dahu Baras. I can't say the name of the town very well, but this is probably maybe 15 minutes away from the Noah's Ark site going to be visiting today and also Arun how far are we from the Iranian border uh, approximately 40 kilometers. about 40 kilometers so that's about 25 miles from the Iranian border on the north <laughs> This looks like a feast for a king here. I have got a beef kebab with rice and bread. I mean, look at that. And got the uh, nice pita bread here. And I uh, got a water and a Coke and some bread. So yeah, I am set up. This looks great.
How do you say it? What is the name? It's a, it, Pashu. Izmir is a beautiful city and a Cappadocia beautiful city. Mm -hmm. Istanbul, history city. Okay. It's a beautiful country, so <laughs> I, I'm just really thankful to be here. Yes, so. you are welcome. Now, I do shoot, I do put some videos on YouTube. Okay. Is it okay if you are on the okay. video? Okay, uh, Instagram? Uh, yeah, let me, yeah. I'll, I'll give it to you. One moment. Okay. <laughs> north of the city about 20 minutes and here we have some of the drogue stones or anchor stones that would have been uh, supposedly hanging off of the ark here on the front you can see crosses that have been carved into this stone. Okay, and it's believed that these were maybe the burial stones. We are doing a good we're calling a guy here named Zofar. And he is kind of an area expert on a lot of these stones and the Noah's Ark archaeology in this area. So I'm going to see if I can talk to him. Sure. Get some more information on these. Hello. Huh? See? Can you see? Okay, it's yeah. going now. It's going. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a video here. We'll pull this out like this. We'll pull this stick out. Look at there. Look at here. Look at here. Now we can get a good shot. Hey, look. You want, you want to hold? Hold it. Okay, you got it? Huh? You got it? Hold tight. Hold it up. Hold it up. <laughs> there you go. Hold it up. Here. Put your hand out here. Okay, there you go. Now you got it. <laughs> You're a photographer now. <laughs> okay. okay, the village of the eight. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just curious. I, I just, I saw the ark site yesterday, and I wanted to come out to this area and see the anchor stone. So it's, it's really fascinating. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate your help, sir. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye.
Okay, so what is this showing here? That's interesting. That's like in the shape of a pyramid oh. there. Same inscription. So this gentleman is showing me a picture of David Fuzzel. He was one of the uh, main researchers out in this area with these drogue stones, the drogue stones, the uh, anchor stones, and then also the what's believed to be the burial site. So this is called the Village of the Eight, and it's in this village here in this valley that uh, after Noah and his family got off of the ark, they would have settled uh, in this area. Okay, here's another Okay, wonderful. Faisal. Faisal, with you, yeah. Stopper Bandera. Yeah. Over there. Okay. His three sons and their four wives. And then back over here, uh, next to this red barn is, is another one. And then around the corner, there's a, a smaller lot and there's several more of these stones. So yeah, these are the Drogue stones. Uh, really enjoyed being able to come out and see this. And this is my driver here. He's been uh, helping me today. So, all right, we're gonna get back on the road. Yeah.